Okay, so we're going to compare three methods of video transfer uh, because we want to get the memories from this video 8 tape using this Hi8 camcorder using each of these three methods. In the DV pass-through method, we're going to play the video on the Hi8 camcorder connected by an S-video cable and audio cables to the mini DV camcorder. The mini DV camcorder is connected uh, with a FireWire cable to the FireWire card on a Windows 10 computer running the WinDV software. By the way, you'll need to ensure that the mini DV menu settings shown here is set to DV out on. In the DV tape method, we'll connect everything the same way, but we're going to record onto a mini DV tape. And then in a second step, we're going to play that mini TV tape back to the FireWire card and WinDV. In the ATI 600 method, We'll connect the Hi8 camcorder to the capture device via the S-Video cable and the audio cables. And the ATI 600 capture device is connected to a Windows XP computer via USB, although you can also connect it to a Windows 7 computer. We'll use the VirtualDub 1911 software and we'll save the video with the Huff YUV compression. Okay, our first head-to-head -head comparison are the two DV methods. The question I really wanted to examine is whether bypassing the mini DV tape yields uh, better results. I viewed the raw footage on my computer and I don't see any difference. Maybe I don't know what to look for. Now, assuming that the quality is the same, uh, the benefit of the tapeless method or the uh, bypass method is that you don't need a mini DV tape, which could be hard to find. And instead of two steps, it's only one step. I guess the benefit of digitizing the video 8 footage on a mini DV tape, though, is that you have another backup of it. Our second head to head comparison is between the DV pass through method and the ATI TV Wonder 600. Which one is which? I'll reveal the answer in about 10 seconds. The mini DV pass-through method is on the right. The ATI 600 is on the left. I haven't enhanced these videos in any way, apart from the fact that I had Premiere deinterlace the videos by dropping them into a progressive timeline, and then I exported it as a progressive video. And uh, by the way, these were the video levels I used uh, for the ATI 600 in Virtual Dub, and these were the settings I used for the FireWire transfer in WinDV. Now, I gave you some facts in the video, showed you some samples, but what does it all mean? First, I don't see any difference in the visual quality between the DV pass-through method and the DV tape method. I read that the pass-through method was better, but I don't really see it. That said, for reasons of convenience, I will use the pass-through method from now on. Secondly, I don't see any difference in visual quality between the DV pass-through method and the ATI 600 method. I know the conventional wisdom is that the DV method will cause your video color space to be compressed. That's the 422-411 thing. They look pretty similar to me, although I have to say that when I compared it more closely, um, you can tell that the uh, FireWire version is a little bit blown out. We're losing some detail in the white that we're not losing in the ATI 600. Now I'm using a, a, a camcorder, a mini DV camcorder, so I don't have the ability to adjust the uh, incoming um, video. Now, after all this, I have to tell you which one I would pick. Well, I have all of them, and I'll continue to use my ATI to do my video captures because I can control the brightness, and that can help um, prevent some of the lost detail. Thanks to everyone uh, who has suggested other comparisons. I have taken note. I do plan on getting to them. Uh, you can check the channel page to view a list of all the videos, and maybe by the time you watch this video, some of those comparisons will have already been done. Here are some other videos you can watch.